So all you need today for this painting that we're going to do is your uh, primary colors of red, yellow, and blue, and some green and brown and some white, and you can put some black on there um, too if you want. These have really nice bristles and they're great for your trees and your bushes, and this is going to be used for your background, okay? And then we have a flat synthetic brush, chiseled edge, and I have a flat um, a filbert brush, which is a chiseled edge and synthetic. And I also have a liner brush. So today we just do a simple little landscape, little river and some mountains. And um, so I'm going to make it very easy. I'm not going to use my magic white because I have too many things on the go and I want it to be dry. I want to be able to work, uh, actually have the paint dry faster. So what I'm going to do is I do have just a coat of wet white paint. I'm just plain white paint. I only did that to um, just help me get started, but you don't have to do that. So I'm just going to put a sky on. I'm going to have a sky and some mountains, some trees, a little river. Just going to try something different for you today. So I'm going to do a very light blue. Light blue. A little bit of yellow in it, would you believe? A little bit of greenish color. Bluish, greenish color. I used to have some different color skies, you know. Lighten it up a bit more and I'm just going to start putting that on there. I'm going to leave a little bit of openings for my clouds. There we go. See, I'm just, just have some fun. Sometimes rather than just go back and forth, you know, that's kind of nice too to get a really smooth blend. But um, sometimes it's fun just to slap the paint down there, you know, just slap it on. Slap it on. See, I'd work a little bit of white underneath there. It brightens up even more. Just white paint. I didn't use any any magic white or anything, anything to extend the drying time because I want it to dry. Okay, I want it to dry. All right, so that's a pretty sky. Look at that. And that was that quick, wasn't it? I'm going. This is going to be a very, very fast painting today. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm just going to try a really quick way to do this for you. All right, so there. And then I'm going to put, now I'm going to put the mountains on. So I want to decide where I want to end so I can come down with my, I want a really big mountain. So I'm thinking maybe I'll come down to here. Just going to make a line here, just to get an idea. So it's under halfway, as you can see, it's about a third of the way up. So I'll leave that here for the little river and some things going on. But this is all going to be mountains, okay? So we'll just take, um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's just take any dark color. We'll take, let's see. So we'll take some blue, a little bit of burnt umber, maybe um, some red. Just get a bit of an underpainting, maybe even some green. I'm just trying to show you like the different colors you can put together. Uh, so I'm just going to draw it out. Uh, let's start with this one here, big one first, and probably a couple of small ones in the background. So you can use chalk for this if you like. So I want them really high. I want them right up into the sky. And I'll bring this one way over here. And I'm going to bring this here. I'll put one behind it. Put one line. So once you get this peak here, it's like a big letter A, that's all it is, right? And then there's a peak behind it. So you can put another one here and you can put another peak. So make a line, make a line, and down. Line and down, all right? And over here, you can even make your squiggly line. So you can make your squiggly line whatever way you think it might work for you. And there's another one and another squiggly line. Now, in the background here, we can make some more hills. I might put one coming down here and maybe some little bumps here to make it look like hills in the background there. And maybe there's another one over here. Now all you do is fill it with color. See? 
So what colors do we want? Let's see, let's see. I'm gonna clean my brush off. I was gonna fill it in with the dark colors first, but I, I think I'm gonna play around with it so I can have something different for you. Let's see, let's see. How about we do the tops of this one over here with that dark color that I put together, all right? And we will just do some, get some squiggly lines over here too just so we can have some idea where we want things. So I'm just going to put a line over here. I think I'm just going to fill in this. I'm going to fill it in with more of a burnt umber on the top here. And some over here. And this the peak here. Then I'm going to take some white on my brush on my dirty brush and I'm going to fill that in here. All right. I know this is different, isn't it? Sometimes I like to try different things just just out of curiosity to see what work. <laughs> I didn't even practice it. I just said I'm going to try something today just for a bit of fun. All right, so we'll add some more darks to that in a minute. And then we'll have, I'm going to put the line back here like this. So that, that looks like it's a big old mountain back here. And I want to keep it a bit light so it's a distant mountain. Now I might change it up a little bit. I'll see. But it's a start. some of my dark color back here. I might come back when that dries. And a little bit of my squiggly line here. So as long as you get your squiggly lines, that will help you will. It'll help you get some shapes. See? That's nice, isn't it? Let's see. I want to go with a, a lighter color here. I'm going to get my burnt umber and white. A bit of yellow. I'm just mixing some colors together, guys. You can certainly go ahead and make up your own colors. I'm just going to fill that in here. I don't have a squiggly line there, but I'm going to fill it in. All right, so now let's come back and shape it up after. Nice. And now I'm going to add some, I'm going to clean my brush off. I'm going to add some color down here, and I'm going to add a lighter color on top. So I think I'll start with the darks first. We'll go with some blue and some green burnt umber. I'm going to make it almost a black color, but anyway. So I'm just going to put that on there like that. I want to leave the top a little bit. The colors are different, aren't they? Huh? That's what I want to show you, just how you can play around with color. Take that squiggly line and use it to my advantage. Now, don't do exactly what I'm doing, all right? Please, because you'll be frustrated. Because uh, what I'm doing is I'm just um, throwing on colors and having a bit of fun with it. And if you try to follow exactly what I'm doing, you're going to have a hard time. So, what you're going to have to do is. So, I'm just mixing now a bit of burnt umber. And I'm mixing that in here, like in between what I just did. Get some extra color in there. This is so much fun. I'm just playing with color. So I'm using my burnt umber with a bit of white. And my brush is dirty. Oh my, look at that. I don't know if you guys like this. It's kind of abstract, isn't it? 
Isn't that nice? kind of throwing colors on top of each other and everything. Look at that. Now make sure you leave your colors behind that you did. Alright. Now I'm going to pick up some white on my dirty brush. Come up here. See how I'm going to get more white. If your brush is too dirty, you can always clean it and then go back into the white and let it let it seep into this colors here. Oh look. Oh, isn't that nice? I like it. I like it. You might be saying, what is she doing? But that's the fun part. You're the artist. You can do whatever you want. Nobody can tell you any different. They can't say Oh, I don't like that. Now, let's try the other side. I'm going to use that creamy color, the burnt umber, and some white. And I'm going to use that on this side. I'll get to that after. Um, I'm just so excited about getting color on here, so don't mind me. So I'm just slapping it on. You could even just tap it out if you want, like just... Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. Let's try it for something different. Look. Isn't that nice? Just put some burnt umber in and added some white, and I didn't even mix it, I just threw it on there. I'm not going to worry about this too much. I'm going to put some bushes and stuff there. Oh yeah, this is lovely. I'm having too much fun like a child. <laughs> How cool that is. I have some white on top. Keeping my squiggly line so I'll know where I'm going. Throw that down into here. All right, I like it. Now, I'll fix this up here, I think. Put that little squiggly line back. Pull it down here a little bit just to get a little bit of shadow, not much in one. I'm going to say, just trying to figure out where the light is coming in. I'm just trying to figure out where I should put the light. little crevices. Pull some of that down. Just give it a softer, softer look. Alright. Just take your brush and move it around. See what happens. As long as you got the shape, you don't have to worry about the colors too much. So I'm going to take my dirty brush and put in some white and I'm going to some just right here, just gonna throw in some color here. Throw it in. Probably leave that pink up there. I'm just gonna add a little shadows to it too. Just go into your dirty, dirty paint. Now we don't want to make mud. You can see it's not mud, right? You can see it's not mud. It's beautiful colors all mixed together, but it's not mud. I think you get mud when you um, black. Black can really sometimes destroy your paintings. So if you if you use the colors I'm giving you, you should not get mud. You just get pretty beautiful colors. Add white to the background here. Still trying to figure out where the light is coming in. I'll decide that in a minute. I need to decide it soon because we really want to get this done. Just trying to make some shape. Alright, and I'm going to go into my dark colors again. Just going into burnt umber. Pick up a little bit of that color and that color and that color. and Just trying to get some shapes. Yeah, I'm 
just going to scrub that on there. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm leaving some openings. And I'm going to mix that in with that there. There we go. All right. Nice. I like it actually. <laughs> it probably looks funny to you, I don't know. But um, just having some fun. Get the peak up here, maybe a little bit down here. Like I said, once you get the shape, you can put anything on there. Alright, put anything on there that you want, any colors you want. Alright, going into my burnt umber and some white. And, I'm just, and maybe I'll add a little bit of red to give it some color. Just all I'm doing is adding some burnt umber and white and a bit of red just to give it some color. Might add a little more burnt umber for shadows. There we go, that's better. And oh boy, beautiful colors we're getting. I'm using the chisel edge of my brush to do this. I'm not doing it the flat way because that way I can control more openings and things. Add a bit more burnt umber to get some darks. Contrast is really a lot too, right? That really helps. I'm just going to mix that in with that, but I'm not going to lose all the beautiful paint color I got there. Pull that up a bit. Go around that there. Um, Maybe a little bit in here. I might add a bit more white to my paintbrush. So be mindful of the shape. Once you get the shape, you'll be fine. Now that's nice and colorful, isn't it? Wow. All right. I'm happy with that for sure. I'm going to add a little bit of uh, yellow. Yellow and burnt umber and white. And look, I'm not even mixing it together. I'm just going to see what happens. All right, that's good. Be mindful of the shape of your... All right, and then I'm going to add burnt umber to my dirty brush. Look, see, I'm not getting mud. Just trying to show you, right? You're not going to get mud if you use the proper colors. It's the black that might destroy it, right? But look at that color there. Isn't that pretty? Now... That's just marvelous. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some, hmm, maybe I should come down a bit more with some of those colors. A dirty brush, maybe I'll come down a little bit more just to get some color in here. In case I put my trees on and you can't, and you can see through them. And just some color there. Just throw in anything at all. Because the bottom part here is going to be all covered up. I just want, just in case you can see through some of the trees or something. And it's good practice, you know. This is going to make you think, but in a good way. It's like, you don't have to worry about color, you don't have to worry about anything. Just slapping on some colors without making mud. And you shouldn't make mud if you stay away from black in this one, for sure. Sometimes you have to use black, but... Black is all right uh, on its own with other colors mixed in with it. Um, I don't know, it's, it's hard to. So I'm just go. All I'm doing here is I'm just adding color here because I. You can leave it open if you want to, but I was just going to put some trees in that there, and I'm thinking I might be able. I might end up being able to see through it, and I don't want to put my squiggly line back in. In case I want to do something with that. All right. See, no need to worry. Good. Let's get some. I just added white to whatever my dirty brush got on it. Just 
going into some of my paint. Like when I go back in, I'll look around and I'll pick up some white if I want it later. And then I'll pick up some whatever's there. Alright, so we are going to That's okay. I, like I said, I don't want, I just want the bottom to be just a little bit of fill there. That's just a bit of fill. And then I'll be putting some bushes in that on there now in a minute. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So I'm still using my flat brush. It's chiseled edge, edge synthetic. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a base coat on for some rocks here. And I want to establish where I want my... So I'm just going to uh, uh, get some blue paint, just something on the tip of my brush here so we can draw it out. So let's draw it out. Let's see where we're going to go with it. <clears throat> let's go to this corner. Have a landmark, right? And then maybe we'll work our way over to that here. And then we will come out here. Widen it out here. Maybe it's a rock or something there, and it just goes off, right? So that would be our water. And for our water, we will add blue and green. And a really dark color water, okay? Blue and green. Ultramarine blue and sack green. And just put in some dark green water for now, all right? On one side, just this side here. Just put it on this side here for now, all right? Add more blue at times. And some green. I like mixing my paint separately and, and mixing them on the canvas so that they don't mix completely. I'm going to add a bit of burnt umber just on my dirty brush just to darken it up a little bit here. You don't have to do that. I'm not sure the burnt umber will make it nice or not, but. I just want a little bit dark of a shadow over here. Nothing too serious. Paint is wet so it might lift up. So I'm going to clean my brush. <clears throat> and I am going to take up some white. All right, now that paint is still wet. You want to keep it wet. Work wet on wet as much as you can because it really helps See how it blends the colors in together? Look. So just blend them over. Try to go horizontal. 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 That bring it might be easier to go this way. Pull it over. Catch it before it dries. If it dries, I just add more to dark paint. Stay horizontal if you can. I know it's it's tempting to go down. But this will give you a nicer look to your water. Add more white to your brush. Pick up some of the wet paint and bring it over. Good. Bring it over. Horizontal. All right, now. Now we're talking. Now you can come over and start adding some water like ripples or might have to add more dark paint over there. Some kind of might add some of my brown burnt and some blue. Give it a really dark color. Burnt umber and ultramarine blue. We'll just see what happens. So oh, I might make a mess of this, but I really want to get some darks coming. Now, don't forget, try to stay horizontal if you can. So that's probably drying up over and like I said I'm not I don't think it's a good idea to use any uh, magic white or 
any blending gels right now in this one because you need to have it dry fast so you can add things to it, okay? Alright. Alright, now when we put when we put this other stuff on we can go back and, and adjust it a bit more. So I'm gonna add for an underpainting my burnt umber and my blue. And I'm going to add some rocks and things here. So I'm gonna get something going here. I'm going to start down here, my dark color, and I'm going to leave some, I'm going to leave some openings so that we can, when we add our highlights, then they will nice, they'll be nice and highlighted. They won't be, you know, so you've got something really dark on your white, it's hard to get it, you know, to, to lighten up. I'm using burnt umber and blue, ultramarine blue. This is going to be some rocks and over here could be nice and dark. We'll be okay with the dark over here. Ultramarine blue and burnt umber. All right, we'll go with that here. Might need more ultramarine blue. So burnt umber. I want this nice and dark. We'll go more burnt umber than ultramarine blue on this side. Just filling it in there so I can have something to work with. This here is going to be a rock. There we go. See? Now we get something to work with. It's like an underpainting, see? But it's okay for this part to be dark because it's going to be dark on that side. But over here it's going to be lighter. So I'm just trying to think now what else I can do to make this a little bit more dark over here. Out here. Burnt umber. Alright, that's good. Ultramarine blue and burnt umber. Let's see, I think I'm going to leave that. And some dark underneath here for the underpainting. Okay, I don't want to mess up too much there. Alright, we got something started. Looks good, doesn't it? Alright, let's add, I think maybe adding a few trees here will help us establish what we need to do, I hope. I'm just going to take a big old fan brush. You can take a smaller one or, you know, whatever you got handy there. And I'm going to put green and ultramarine blue and burnt umber together and make a really dark color. All right. I want it almost to be black. I don't know, really dark, dark green. Doesn't be pure black. I'm going to bring my tree, probably one here and another one here. Some more than over here. So let's see, let's see. Probably put a little top on it. All right. Decide where you want your top here. And maybe if you want another one over here, just put a little top. And that way you'll have some idea where you're going to put your trees, all right? It will help, hopefully. Now, I'm just going to... just going to push in and on the corner of my brush. And then I'm just going to go back and forth, leave some openings when you get down here a little bit. And then... Move that out there like that and like that. So that's a cute little tree. Green, red, burnt umber. Nice and dark. All right, let's try this one. They don't have to be perfect or anything. Just tap, 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 tap. Look, when you tap, 
the brush will do the work for you. Corner your brush, corner your brush. You don't have to pull up. You can come down, start inside, move out, start inside, move out, start inside, and just keep tap, tap, tapping. All right, tap, 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 move back and forth. Just tap, tap, tap. All right, and then when you get a little further down, then you can start moving out a little bit more. So tap in the middle, tap out, tap, 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 tap. Tap, 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 tap. Alrighty then. Nice little tree. It's not bad. Alright, we got another one here. Tap your top up there and then just take the cord of your brush and just tap. Don't even worry about the edges right now. Just tap. They'll, they'll work themselves out. Tap, tap, tap and then move back and forth a little bit as you get down. Tap, tap. You're filling in the whole space. Look. Good. Might put a small one back here. Looks like there's no space there. Corner your brush, tap, 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 tap. And you don't have to worry about it here because it's in between and you can't see it. All right, what else? We got one here. One here. Tap. Corner your brush, tap. Look, if you push, even with the corner of your brush, you push a little bit harder when, as you're coming down. It will make the edges for you, all right? And then you can move back and forth if you want. Just experiment. Practice on a piece of paper first before you go on your painting. That will help. All right, maybe just another one here. Top. Tap, 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 tap. Good. Where else we got one? Maybe just one here somewhere coming in that way, I don't know. It's just tap, 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 tap. Ooh. <laughs> oh boy, aren't they cute? I'm gonna add a little bit of darkness down here in case there's some bushes. Over here a little bit. Maybe there's, maybe there's something over here. trees over here maybe. Take the corner of your brush, tap, 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 tap. Look, and the corner of your brush will make that little tree shape for you, alright? See? That's the beauty about these fan brushes. People say they don't want to use them. You can try a flat chisel edge brush. You can try all the brushes you want and practice to see if you can get those shapes, alright? Because trees sometimes are a little bit difficult. Get on your nerves. <laughs> You can make your trees a little more. I'm going to add <coughs> sap green, some white that's mixed, that's left over there. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlights on my trees, and that way I can decide now where the light is coming from. I think I'm going to let the light come in through the back somewhere here so we can get more light on this side and on the tips of here and on some bushes and things and probably on this side of the tree. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this just to bring the tree out a little bit more. I'm not going to do much, just tap the corner of my brush and I'm going to kind of not uh, just follow what I did before, but I don't need to do very much. All right, so you start at the corner. Too much, too white, too white, get some more color. Be a little bit of light shining up there anyway. So use the corner of your brush, that'll help, and just a little bit on the very tips of those. Just tap, 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 tap. That helps a lot. It brings out a bit more, see? Get some more paint and do a couple more. Just leave, leave that one a bit dark and that one up here. Is, need a little bit. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit up here. Kind of gives, gives you a little bit of shape, see? That's all you need. So make sure this is dry before you do your light colors. So what I want to do is I want to put some bushes, like trees, bushes, and things. So I'm going to use my burnt umber yellow. 
that's a yellow, some red. I'm trying to get a creamy yellowy color. Some white, see that will help. A little bit more burnt umber. It's not bad, it's nice, I like that. Maybe a little bit more red. I'm trying to get kind of an orangey bottom. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm, hmm. So I'm going to make some bushes like that here. Oh, and I'm using a bristle brush. Number eight or a half inch. Depends on the size of your canvas, like I always say, right? Depends on your canvas. So I'm just going to bring some of that over here to almost to the edge of the riverbank. Just this is the bottom parts. Some here, here, and right over to the right over to the river. Add more paint. On the creamy side. And I'm going to add more red, so I didn't mean to, to go that bright yet. Okay. Maybe it's a little bit over here. These are just little bushes and things. Now on top of those bushes, we want to, a little tree maybe back here. All right. On top of those, maybe there's some in here. <laughs> I know, I know. So, let's see, let's see. So I'm going to go with some white on top of that color that I just made. Some white and maybe a little bit of yellow. White, mostly white. I'm just mixed, I'm just going, you can see I went into those colors that I made. Because I, I still want to have, keep some of those colors, some white and a bit of yellow. So I just I want it really bright, okay? So I'm going to put that right on top of what I just did. But don't cover it up, all right? Just on the very top. Same with here. We just want to brighten it up a little bit. And here. And here. Don't make them all in one size. Try to make them so that there's some bigger than others and some smaller than others. All right, I have just a nice one here. Maybe there's one here. Some here, maybe here. All right, nice colors, isn't it? Good. Good, good. Good to good. All right. <clears throat> now I'm going to go back. Actually, you can keep using the same brush rather than changing all the time. Just clean off that brush. Doesn't have to be perfectly clean, but want to get some, I don't know, set dirty color there. Some of your dirty, dark colors. Calm dirty. I don't know why I call them dirty. They're, they're beautiful colors. Okay. And then add white. All right. So you got dark and white. Dark side down. Let's just start pulling on some, some of those rocks that we were talking about. So add some white. I want to bury those nice bottoms of those trees there. Add more white, because your brush is nice and dirty, so you can add white. Be very loose. Don't worry about it. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just be loose. Be loose. All right. Just trying to keep those shadows a little bit. Didn't even need to have them there, because I could have put them in after if I had to think about it. They can 
they can be the bottoms of your rocks there. Those pretty colors. I'm just scooting in some stuff there now, just scooting in some shadows and things. I'm just kind of scrubbing it in so it'll be soft. And I'm going to over here, same thing, just going to add some color. Alright. So, what we're going to do is we are going to add some more of this color here. I'm going to add some burnt umber. Make some I'm going to tap on, actually, I'm going to tap on some burnt umber. No, I'm going to scrub it on, sorry, sorry. You can tap if you want. I'm just going to scrub in some shadows there. Okay. Just to get some shadows first of all. Then we're going to make some little rocks and things. Dark color over here. All right, now. Yeah. So we're just going to go back to our flat chiseled edge brush so we can see if we can make some rocks or something. So with this one here, I'm going to add to my burnt umber, I'm going to add a bit of white and a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, a little bit of red gives it a nice color. A little bit of white. See? And to the back of it, because that's where the sun is coming in, we will lay down a few highlights. Alright? Just throwing in a few little, these little. Oh, that was a mistake. It was not a happy accident. I don't want that to go in my water. Don't let that go in your water, okay? Just some little strokes here. I'll decide after what I'm going to do there. And this, that. There's your highlight on your rock there. Maybe a little bit here. And you get your, some of your burnt umber. Get some burnt umber. So if you, with a light color, if you just pull over flat, then you get some flat rocks, right? I just want to um, clean up this part here so that it's not... There we go. That's better. Now, as for these over here, I want to make some rocks over here. So I'm going to take my burnt umber and some of my green. I know, I know, I'm just playing. And some white, all right? Because we want some color. I'm trying to, trying to get some nice colors. So I'm going to flatten out some of those so they look like rocks. I like that down there. I don't want to destroy that. Um, maybe I'll just put a bit of weight on top of that one. And maybe, maybe, maybe some of that light color I just made on top of this one. A little bit on this one. Just trying to shape them up a little bit so they look, they'll have some look of of rocks. That one's too light, isn't it? We'll have to add some dark to that after again. Might have to go back and forth. 
Let's see, burnt umber and your light color. Let's see, burnt umber and some of your light color. A bit of yellow, a bit of red. I want some color in this painting. I'll pick a rock up, make that look like a rock. Maybe there's more rocks here. Up, over, and down. Up, over, and down. Down. All right, that's not bad, not bad. And then we'll come over here to meet up with that a bit. Okay, and then we will try to add a few more rocks. It could be a little rock there, maybe it's a bigger rock here. So if you want to make them to look like rocks, you take over. Let's do a, a shadow first. Take over your burnt umber and then add a bit of light color, white or something, and lift up. And you can wiggle it around a bit and then you can make that look like a rock. Need more dark. See, all my paint is wet now, so it's kind of hard to. Right? I want you to be able to see it too. Just play around with your rocks. It's not to. Shouldn't be that hard. Then I'll put some highlight on top of that. That's what I'll do. I don't want it to get too complicated on me. I just want to do some rocks and add some highlights. Shake them up better with highlights so you can go a bit higher. You know, just move it around. Just touch the chisel edge of your brush and just touch the tops of those and that will give you a much better way to get them on there. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. We might go back and do a few more things. Make a contrast. See, put some darks around trees and things. And it gives that, it brings them out more. See, I'm using burnt umber. See how it brings it out more when you add shadows? See the difference just by doing that? Isn't that wonderful? Just adding some shadows under here. See? So, you can move it around a little bit if you want. So I, that's, that's okay, so I can add more stuff to it if I want to after. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a few little sticks to my trees. Let's get a liner brush. So let's add some sticks and stuff. So I got a liner brush here, see how that works out. It might work out, it might not, I don't know. So I got some dirty paint here, great stuff. Look, I'm going to add that to it, but the main focus is going to be white. All right, see, so make it white, but you can add those other colors to it, all right? So let's come up with some little, I don't know what I got that, what's that there for, I wonder? I don't know what that is. It must have been something, I'm going to get rid of that because that's in my way. I want to darken that up a little bit. Just to, so I, because see, you could, you'd be able to see your sticks better then, right? So while we're waiting for that to dry, I will add sticks down the bottom ones. All right, so let's do it here, like little tree branches, like that. See, here we go. You got it? Have you got it? Where I'm only working the camera by myself, sometimes I forget to zoom. In, I zoom in, I forget to zoom out, and then you end, I end up doing a half an hour painting. And realize. Whoops, I didn't zoom out and then you couldn't see what I was doing. So hopefully one of these days I'll get some help. 
I also uh, started a new little place called Ko-Fi. I'll leave a link in my thing and that way, like if some people, they don't want to make a, a commitment of a monthly payment, even though it's only a dollar or something on Patreon. But if you want to just make a one-time donation and still get free videos and tips and all kinds of things in there, uh, you can make a one-time, like just a dollar or something by PayPal and it's uh, much, it's simpler and it's, uh, but if, if you do like making monthly payments, that's fine. Patreon's great for that. You still don't even have to pledge a dollar or two dollars or whatever, depending on what you want. But the other one, if you, uh, one donation and you can still see a lot of stuff in there, you know. I'm trying to add new things all the time so I can, you know. And those pledges help me and, well, what it is is like buy me a coffee <laughs> over to Ko-Fi and, uh, you buy me a coffee for a dollar and I can go out and buy some paints. <laughs> I'll go buy some paints. So I'm going to... I'm going to add some little sticks and twigs. Just with the top of my brush and a little bit of burnt umber on one side and white on the other or any dark colors. I'm going to add these nice big... To the trees, some twigs, yeah, these things, cool, hey, something here, nice. Hopefully you can see them. I can also add some, now that I got my brush out, I can add some crevices in the rocks. I'll give it more of a rocky look. Paint might have to be dry for this. There's little crevices and rocks and things. We'll straighten all that out in a minute. I'm just trying to get some idea what I want to do there. Good. Looking good so far, isn't it? Huh? So what we're going to do now, while we uh, will do some touch-ups and things, right now I'm going to add a couple of trees over on this side. Some birch trees, I think that'd be nice. So what I'm going to do to make the birch trees, I'm going to take a piece of chalk and I'm going to decide where I want my trees. So I'm going to have one probably here. I'm going to go right up to the sky and I'm going to have another one probably here. And where else? Where else? Maybe one coming out here. It could be a smaller one. Could be some smaller ones in the background there. And maybe, maybe, maybe on the edge here, another one. And I should do it. There we go. So get out your flat chisel edge brush. This is size t uh, 12, I believe. But like I say, they're all different. But you go by the size of your, your this is 16 by 20 canvas. So you're going to have to go by the size of what you wear. Uh, of your canvas. So I'm just going to get the white and I'm picking up some burnt umber in there. So I don't need to get a lot of it. It's kind of a beige color just to get it started. And I'm going to start up here and then I'm going to come down and I'm, I'm going to start up on the chisel edge of my brush 
And then I'm going to start pushing in a bit. And as I get down further, I'm going to push harder, as hard as I can, because now I'm running out of paint, which is fine, because you can always reload. And start from here, say. Push, 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 push. If you have to, you can push and push up. Because you want to get that round edge to the, you want to get that round edge. Alright, and now we're going to do it again. We'll put on some uh, shadows and things after. So we're going to go here and push and then push, 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 let it widen out on the bottom. Go back up if you have to, if you run out of paint. There we go. Good. We'll do another one. Just put my burnt umber and white together, that's all. Let's see, let's see, where have we got another one? Here? I think so. Don't know. Alright, so there we go. And push in. Push, push, push. As long as you get your trees on there, you'll be okay. Another one here. Start chisel edge, come down, start pushing a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. If you run out of paint, you can also stop and then go in and get more paint. Then you can continue on, but you have to push now. Push, 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 push. All right. Good. That's nice, isn't it? I might go over them again in a minute. I might get some smaller ones in the background there. There's a little one here or something. All right. That's good. That's a good... So we need to go over it again. Load up your brush. All right, load up your brush. Lots of paint, look. And you can redo it, okay? And the chisel edge. Be careful, be careful. Push, 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 push. Shoop. Shoop be doop. You have lots of paint on your brush. There we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. And there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. All right, now, that one's a little bit thick, but it's okay. Good. Let's get a really dark green, green and blue. Dumber, bit of red. Nice dark. Look how dark that is. Now, what we're going to do is add some trees up around the bottom of that, or trees, bushes up on the bottom of that. All right. So you can still touch, tap, 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 tap some of this grassy area on here. Good. Add a little bit of red just to give it some color. Don't lose your rock. Alright, so go back into your dark color. Add a little bit of green and burnt umber, some yellow, red. See how I mixed all those colors together? And they didn't they didn't turn to mud, see? Let's add some red to that a bit more. A bit more red. I just want to get some little bits of red in there. I like Red in your paintings is what sells your paintings. You got any red anywhere? That's um, that will sell your paintings. So I'm just going to add a little bit more red here. This time, just red on, on my dirty brush on the tip, and that way I can get these little flower-like things. All right. Good, 
good, good. There's some nice little light ones down here. Now, we'll put a little few in between because you don't want it to look off balance. You need to balance out your colors too, okay? It's not bad. Nice. Now, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right, let's add some twigs to our trees and then we'll add. We don't have much left to do. A few touch ups and a few things we want to do it and then it's done. So let's go through our burnt umber with our liner brush. All right, and I'm just going to go right through the burnt umber. I'm going to make some twigs. Decide where you want them because this is going to tell you where to put your where your leaves are going to go. All right. So, touch and pull up the very tip of your brush. Get some of these little something comes straight out but you wiggle a little bit wiggle you know what I like for wiggling now right a couple little ones here and there I can always be fixed here we go I still made a mess. Alright, so do it fast. You don't have to be too cautious. If you do it fast, then it'll, it'll come natural. It'll help. Just make sure your brush has got a really thin top to it, okay? Right, you roll it on in your paint. You get a really thin top to it, and then you can come out from this branch. Once you got one done then you can take another little line out from that one. Alright. There we go. Add water to your brush if you have to. See I've got water added. See it dripping? So now when you put that in your brush, in here, it won't drip anymore because it will be paint on it. That will help it move a bit better. There we go. Good. Good. I think I should do it. And then we can take, while we're waiting for that to dry, why don't we take, um, let's take a palette knife. <coughs> And let's put on some birch thingies going on there, some shadows in a birch tree. So just take this, so just take the dark color, right, just scrape through it and then, and then pretend you're Take it and I'm going to scrape it on as if I'm scraping on toast. I'm just trying to, now you might want to use the other side this way if you're right handed, okay? So if you're right handed, make sure to paint this on the side so you can pull in. So because I'm left handed, I'm using the opposite side. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to touch the edge of the tree and I'm going to pull in. See? See, because of the knife, that will separate your paint for you. Okay, touch, pull in, touch, pull in. Good. 
good. I need more, just go get more paint. Or lay your brush, lay your palette knife down a little more flat. Start off at the edge and if you need to lay your brush, uh, your palette knife down a bit flat, you do that. So pick up more paint. You can also do it with a fan brush. You can do it whatever way you want to. Whatever's easy for you. Okay, I messed up up there. See the mess I made? These things are going to happen. If you don't like it, you can put the you can um, some of the blue sky back. But see sometimes my hands slip, you know, there's different things that happen. You can even use some of your dark colors that you used earlier. Let's mix I picked up some yellow there for a second. Dumber. Just get it on the edge of your brush, on the edge of your palette knife so that you can pull it in. Pull it in. On the edge of your tree. Pull it. Your knife will do everything that you need to do. Touch and pull in. There we go. Good. Whoops, I went outside. Okay, so I might use a brush up there because uh, all right, so we got some nice birch trees. Now when we put the leaves on it'll look even nicer. Now I'm gonna use this brush here and see how the, the bristles open up really nice. It's a one inch, okay? It's, it's just a pure bristle. You get them in your paint shop stores. I don't have any to send so, like I was doing, but um, you can get them in your paint shops. Some people want it because my name was on it, because I put my name on it. But uh, anyway, let's see. All right, so we got white. Picked up a little bit of my brown there, but that's okay. And I'm going to put some yellow in there. Of my brush. See, look how that opened up there for me. Now it's going to be really big help for me to get those on there. See that? And I'm just going to go over on top of those. And I'm going on top of what I just put there, those. They're just little dots of yellow and white. And if you pick up some dirty paint because you've got a smaller you got so you're gonna get your yellow and some white. More white than yellow, okay? And you're gonna go boom boom. This brush will really help. You won't have to do individual ones with a, a little brush. It's a big help. But if that's all you have, use whatever brush you can. Whatever helps you. See? See, you don't want to have in big bundles. You just want them so that they're all spaced out. That's what I like about this brush. It does when I want trees that are spaced out. <laughs> then the leaves. Then that's all I have to do. There we go. I'm going to add more white. Top of that to bring them out a bit more. Good. And then here. And then here. Just little bits, just tap on these. Look, isn't that nice? Isn't that pretty? Now, we don't need a big glass. I don't, 
might fill in a little bit of space. I'm not sure. I don't want to overdo it. See, this is the problem I have sometimes. I get carried away and I end up overdoing it. But I want you to be able to see them. All right. Maybe be a few falling down here or something. I don't know. Just use your imagination. That's pretty, isn't it? Good. Going to do a little bit of touch-ups. I don't need much. I'm going to get out my sky brush that I used. This one here. Chiseled edge. And I'm going to go into some of my white with a little tiny bit of... Let's see, let's see. Maybe that... Uh, I don't know why yellow. And maybe I'll pick up a little bit of that color there. Some of that darker color just put in here like this. See if we can get a little bit of a cloud formation going on here. Not much, just a little circle. Look. Make a little circle. That'll soften up that area there. Maybe there's some more here. There we go. And we get some nice white ones down there. I'm gonna add more white to the corner of my brush and just sort of fluff them up a little bit. See? A bit more white. That's all. There we go. Just at the tops there so it looks fluffy. Looks a little fluffy. And maybe there's a little bit here, not much. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Don't want to overdo anything because start it looks pretty as it is, doesn't it? It's not bad, it's nice, I like it. It's different. So I wanted to show you today how you can do a painting by just being very loose and free. All right, that's all, just be loose and free. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm gonna add a little bit of, a couple of highlights on top of the mountain. These are just final details now, okay? If you're happy with it the way it is, you don't have to do any final details. If you're happy the way it is, you don't have to do anything. Just look at it, see where you like to might, might like to add a few things. Like I say, you don't have to do too much of anything. But I just want to show you that you can add a few extra details. Good. I don't think there's any more highlights I need there. Maybe a little bit over here. So, just a little bit over here. Maybe a little bit over here. Just sort of, I don't want to lose the color, so I'm just scraping on a little bit. A little bit here, just to separate those a little bit. I don't need to do much here. I don't want it to be perfect, not technical. I want it to be just thrown on loosely, and it looks good, and it looks fun, and you can tell what it is. A few highlights here and there. I think I'm going to call it finished. I, I, there's lots more I could do with it. But you know what? I kind of like it. Just kind of loose. It's really loose, isn't it? It's really nice. I just wanted to add something here because it seemed like it was missing something. There we go. And maybe we'll... Um, maybe we'll add a bit of burnt umber to the edge here, just to make it look kind of rocky. Whoops. I had a couple of whoopses here today because I'm... Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I'm not that happy mistakes either. I'm going to pull over a little bit over here just to get it so it's blending a bit. So, 
That's fine. That's fine. I'll pull a little bit off here too. See how I can't stop? Well, I'm done now. Almost, almost, almost. Okay, I'm just thinking one more thing. Burnt umber, your dark colors that you made that dark green or dark. Right? Just your dark colors and just a bit of a, a really dark background color for here. But I just think there should be some bushes or trees or something here. It seems like it needs a little contrast. So just tap, tap, tap a little bit. It's pretty. There we go. It looks like little trees. Felt like it was something missing. There we go. It gives it a better feel, doesn't it? That's better. That's a better. You can even add a little bit of greenish color to some of these trees here. Just tap it on the bottoms there just to give it a little more color. All right. That's better. I think it is. Good. You can even take some of that dark color, burnt umber, burnt umber, and add a few little shadows in your mountains. Not much because you don't want to, you already got it done now, so you don't want to do too much with it. Gives kind of a few cracks and things here. and move it around a little bit so you'll have it smoother. That gives it some more contrast, see? It makes a difference when you get some nice contrast in your paintings. There we go. A little bit of white. Brighten them up a little bit more if you want to. Put back some color. Just be loose and free.
See, just adding a few little shadows can help, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. If you like it the way it is, you can leave it. I'm just kind of the kind of person who likes to play around. So that's it. I think this is a beautiful painting and it's very loose and very free. And you have fun with it, have fun with your colors. And uh, just paint and paint to your heart's content. There we go. Well, thank you for painting along with me. I hope you enjoyed that painting. And if you did enjoy that painting, leave a comment below in the comment section. Let me know what you liked about that painting. What part of that painting did you like? What was your favorite part? And if you have any questions about brushes or paints or anything about the painting itself, just email me at alisonpryor at yahoo.com or leave a comment down below. And I will see you in the next video.